morir. Oh, well. Any other question? Misinterpret who? Misinterpret like the guide. The, the guide. Yeah. Oh, that's common. Uh, no, that happens all the time. But it is not wrong. You're saying now, I'm f I have a teacher. I'm not going to sell school or pick up knowledge from here, from here. I'm going to. I found one teacher. He belongs to a good school. The school has been continuing for over 1,000 years. And their lineage is coming from the Holy Prophet that's a teacher. Now, you have to learn how to be a student. You understand? You have to learn how to be a student. So many people, they have not learned how to be a student. So many people resist being a student. They go and they see a teacher wanting to become like that teacher. Some magically, something is going to happen. And that one is going to become a teacher too. It doesn't happen that way. Sahabe Kiram did not go through it that way. Definitely, Sheikh Fendi is not teaching us that way. So now, welcome to the education. Now, you're going to learn how to be a murid. You're going to learn who is that teacher. You're going to learn to try to understand. This is your education now. It's going to take some years. It's going to take your whole life, maybe. But you're going to sit and you're going to try to learn and understand. The same thing happens too, if you think that, oh, it's only me and the shaykh, no one else. You're opening yourself very wide for shaitan and your ego. You see? Nobody tells me what to do, only the shaykh tells me what to do. That is a teacher. Possibly 99.99% of the things that he knows, you don't know. So how can you say you know him? Aren't you a student? He is a teacher. He must know things that you don't know. If you know what he knows, he's not a teacher, you're not a student. So now you have to learn, that is my teacher. Yes, I take only from him, yes. But don't be like shaitan, don't be like those other ones who say, no, no, it's only me and Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran al-Kirim, there is a knower above every knower. So now, you're going to sit and you're going to listen to a sohbah. This is what you get from the sohbah. Correct? How are you going to understand this sohbah? It is according to how many years you've lived in your life, how much time you spend with the teacher, and how much quality time you spend understanding the lessons. Because you can be sitting down for 20 years in front of the teacher, but if you don't understand the lesson, 20 years means nothing, zero. Correct? That is according to you. If there are 50 people here, there are 50 ways of understanding. So now, certain things you don't understand, you're going to learn. How are you going to learn? You're going to look. That is a teacher, but he has an assistant. There are... Counselors. In school, what do you have? School counselors? Yeah. Where I was growing up, they have prefects. That's yeah, British, yeah. foolish British people. But there are those who have been there for some time. There are those who are understanding a lot. There are those who are running to do things. Don't take directly to certain things you cannot, certain things you are going to misunderstand. So now you're going to ask someone who knows better. I don't understand this part. This is what I hear. Is this correct? I just smacked that Yasin because he cannot fix that. Yeah? Maybe there are 100 people here, but how many people really understand what was happening here? Obviously, just a few people who are here in the front lines. Even then, I cannot guarantee if there are 20 people in the front line. Everybody knows what's happening. Their minds are somewhere else, maybe. Correct? I'm saying to three people who are trying to fix, none of you understood what I was saying. 
openly. A simple thing. I said, take the top one and pull it to him. Correct? Okay. Now, what about the second row? Would they know so much? Maybe not. What about the third row? What about the tenth row? They don't know. So now, if you're interested to know what is really happening, you're going to go to someone. Don't go to Yasin. He might get upset with you. You're going to go to someone who was close by and say, what, what happened? Not to be uh, a busy buddy, okay? but to learn what happened. Oh, that happened. Okay, because it may happen to me. That is a lesson for me. But if you say, no, I understand the teacher. I don't need anyone to tell me what to do. He's saying, top one. Top one, he's saying, the top angels. The top ones. He's saying, pull the top angels. Ah, because angels are coming to circle. Whatever it is, people have funny ideas. You understand? And someone is going, no, he's talking about the carpet. I said, no, you don't know. I know. <laughs> it's a wash up. No, no, no. Wash up, no good. You say, wash up, no good. Which shaykh have you been following for over 10 years? Oh, you're following your own shaitan. Ah, I see. It's okay. Now, how are you going to understand? You're going to ask. All right? Or maybe you really don't understand. You think it's something else and you say it's something else. Someone tells you, no, I was there. It's actually like this. Or maybe the, the person is going, not going to speak such nice words. The person is just going to say, you idiot, what do you know? You know nothing. It's like this. Don't look at the method, you understand? There is a secret behind it. It is not the shell. It is what is inside of it. Take that. Learn from it. You understand? Now, once you start doing it, it will be easier for you to understand and to learn. Otherwise, you're just going to follow your ego too. This is how it is in Tariqat. We have to learn properly from the proper channels, not with your ego. That time, you're not going to misunderstand so much. Then when someone tells you it's like this or like this, just follow. At least test it out, see how it is. Inshallah, Rahman. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, last question.